Up next, we have another rival battle. It's the Mulla Mulla Maloma Mullas versus the Teeny Tiny Dratinis. Hell yeah. Let me list everybody's people, Pokemon. We have Zygarde and Pukumuku and Tapu Fini. Wait. And Sharpedo and Steelix and Gengar. One, two, three, four, five, six. On the other side, we have. Dragonite and Alakazam, Arcanine, Jolteon, Dugong, where are you? And Umbreon. All right. Any opening thoughts before we play? The frenzy leads with Zygarde, he basically wins. Hey. <laughs> you guys hear that background noise? Mm, not real. Yeah, I don't hear. Do um... you guys still hear that background noise now? Not right now. Yeah. No, no, actually, uh, okay. oh yeah, you sound a lot clearer now. There we go, okay, so what happened was, I okay, it was using, I thought I switched it, but it, it continued to use the wrong microphone for whatever reason. Oh, I well, that'll do it. My correct microphone now. <laughs> my apologies. Alright, yeah, you're coming in clear now. Alright, okay. let's get to this battle. Play. All right, Tapu Fini and Umbreon. Yeah, Tapu Fini was uh, pretty much my key for beating Dugong because I knew he was going to attempt to bring Perish Trap with Dugong. So he has to whirlpool me first, which means I always just taunt it, and then he can't do anything. But yeah, I, Fini was pretty much my key for beating things like Dragonite, uh, Alakazam, Umbreon, and Dugong. It also helped versus Arcanine, so... Any pretty much just tears his draft apart. Yeah, it seems to deal with everything but, like, Jolteon. Yeah, Jolteon's the only thing that can really threaten it. But yeah, him going Jolteon just gives me free CLX, which gives me free rock. And then I just proceed to go back to Feeny anytime he brings in Dugong. Hmm. It pretty much goes around like that for a while, like he'll whirlpool and then he'll try and perish song into my taunt. And then I'll attack as he switches. Again. Yeah, I mean, whirlpool perish sounds terrifying. Mm-hmm. And on paper. Yeah. I don't know I don't know if the execution is entirely entirely uh amazing. I mean the execution of it is fairly easy. Just let's do the one instead of some other better. The jumble in theory was a smart play, but if he wanted to like if he wanted to go into some like he doubled hold on, I brought in uh, he went Dugong, and then he went Jolteon, and then he predicted Steelix to come in, so he went Dugong again, but Dugong just kills him with some momentum, so what he probably should have done was gone like Alakazam or Arcanine, who can exert offensive pressure. Mm -hmm. Right. But him just going Dugong again on Steelix, that just gives me Feeny for Yeah. Mm -hmm. And taunting Umbreon basically shuts down entirely. Makes it. But yeah, pretty much I just needed to scout out what the set his Arcanine was running. I'm pretty confident he would be Wild Charge. So I went Pukumuku here. I probably could have gone Zygarde, but I didn't want to risk him being Willow Wisp. But yeah, I couldn't I couldn't stay in with Pukumuku because I didn't want to lose it because if I lose it and he's Dragon Dance, then I could potentially be in a lot of trouble. Uh, you know, like, I think you'll see that he doesn't end up bringing Dragon Dance to this game. I think I think he actually brings the same team as he brought versus Tyrant last week. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think they did. Like identical ones and identical sets. I feel like going Whirlpool first and then perishing like every time, uh, kind of putting a damper on the perish timer thread. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, but if like, he perish stops, then all I do is switch out. So he has to whirlpool the trap. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, it could they could like force you to swap. I mean, they could do the whirlpool perish, but like they could also be using perish to force a swap. Yeah, but without hazards, me swapping endlessly does yeah. nothing except just extend the battle turns like even longer. I guess that's fair. But yeah, he reveals um he reveals Thunder on Dragonite and he paralyzes me and I don't wanna lose Fiend because I wanna try and preserve as much differential as I can. So I end up going Steelix, I know he's he's definitely gonna whirlpool and I take it pretty easy, so I'm just gonna dragon tail and rack up hazard damage. Mm -hmm. If I if he brings in Jolteon it dies. Dragonite gets very close to dying, and I'm pretty confident it can't kill me with anything, so I just Dragon Tail it again. And then I know he'll either Whirlpool or I'll try and go for rest, so I just bring in Sharpedo. Since I I ran the damage on Feeny versus Dugong, and for him to take as little from Moonblast as he did, he's fully specially defensive. So he has no defense investment, which means crunch to a chaosum. Yeah. So Sharpedo wins this game here. It cleans up. Defense drop. Yeah. I get the defense drop on Umbreon, but I don't think it's Waterfall would have killed from that range anyway, even without the defense drop. What's Crunch's defense drop? Yeah. I think it's 20%. Oh. I think they told me their goal was to just at least skip one of you. Yeah. First six on will lead, yo. Accidentally whacked the microphone. I don't know if anybody could hear that. It happens to me a lot. A little bit. It's all good. Who set the rocks? Was it Steelix? Yeah. Alright. Yeah. So I think, I think, what is it? Steelix got two Dragonite and Jolteon. Steelix got and two then... KOs, Sharpedo got three, Arcanine KO'd itself. Yeah. Didn't even need the Zygarde this game. Yeah, Zygarde and Gengar never even hit the Kept in the back. The dragon sleeps another day. Alright, let's replay this while I make sure all my numbers are good. Okay, let's go a little hyper fast for some of these, get out of some of these mind games here. All right, so. Uh, the Mulla 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 is taking a 6-0 with 3 KOs for Sharpedo and 2 for Steelix. They are sitting at 2-1 currently with 9 points. MVP being Pukumuku still with 4 KOs for the season. For all from last week. Teeny Tiny Dratinis sitting at 1-2 and two with minus 9. And MVP being Alakazam with a nice clean 6 KOs for the season. I was hoping Pikamuka would get more KOs versus thing like Arcanine and Dragon. It ended up not happening. Yep. It's like Pikamuka's about to come in for a second week in a row. Alrighty. So, uh, let's see, I think I said all the relevant stats. I think we're ready to move on. 
Yep, to the next match. Let's